Hi everyone, this is your host Subhas Malik from superbot.online powered by Cognitive Solutions. In this video, I am going to show you how you can find your UiPath Orchestrator link if you have forgotten that link particular installations and how you can open that particular UiPath Orchestrator website from the system or from the virtual machine where you have installed the orchestrator for the first time okay because most of the case we might need to see where the particular orchestrator is installed okay and we have to see the particular administrator link or administrator url with the default username and password for the first time login Okay, so UiPath Orchestrator will be installed in Windows system or Windows server system in Windows Internet Information Services or IIS. To open IIS, we have to open run or we can just type the IIS name or we can give a shortcut. type that inet manager command in run and hit enter okay so once we have opened that particular internet information services we need to navigate to the websites we need to click on the server name and click on the sites and here you can see that in particular system where i am showing you the demo it's having automation anywhere and UiPath Orchestrator installed. Okay, so I'll click on UiPath Orchestrator, which is I'm having the Windows, uh, sorry, 2018 editions. Okay, so from here you can see the particular URL, browse website section, and we we have to click on that particular link to open the particular website. Okay and i have saved the particular url in my system and as i have installed in my local system and it's not having a valid ssl it gives me an error or a warning saying that this site is not secure okay i'll click on more and go to particular website which is not recommended by windows okay by default uipath orchestrator will be installed with multi tenancy and I don't have particular recommend I'll disable that in later point of time and I'll give the default username and password as I have installed UiPath orchestrator just now so default username is admin and default password is 890IOP which I have saved in a notepad file here it is default username is admin and password is 890iop this is my server url it can be varied from system to system or you have installed as i have locally installed this my particular server name is particular url for the orchestrator so i have given that password which is 890iop i'll click on login okay so this is how we can log in for the first time after we install uipath orchestrator and this is a admin credentials i hope this video is informative to you and please subscribe to our channel and if you have any issues or any concerns and you need some solutions or guidance feel free to comment in that video i will be helping you out to resolve such issues and please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to see the latest video from our channel thank you